Wow, that's a lot of bees. So it's been one week since we've caught any swarms and we might be getting ready to catch a third one. I don't know if you could see all that action, I bet you can, but normally we don't have all of this action on here unless we're going to catch a swarm and swarm and this isn't Wow, that's a lot of bees. And we had action on three of our swarm traps today. One was our cardboard swarm trap. Not the, you know, the plaster pot that we're doing the competition. One was even that one. So, wow. I'm, uh, I'll be out here hoping to see this thing fly in. Okay, so... I really think we have a swarm already in it. We, I might have missed it going in, but there, I'm, I, I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes and I'm watching bees just come in and out and they're not taking anything out, but it doesn't look like they're bringing anything in either. So either we're minutes from catching a swarm or less than a day from catching a swarm or we've already got a swarm and it's big because then nuke we caught la two weeks ago to today it's about it's been about two weeks then nuke we've caught it has no action coming in and out the i mean the little swarm we caught that we put in the nuke has no action coming in and out but the swarm trap does so I'm actually gonna get the thermal scanner and take a heat signature to see how hot this is and if it's hot that means there's bees in it if not then uh, then we're gonna wait a few more hours to see if we catch one but it's probably around seven o'clock right now Sun goes down here at about eight eight uh, eight o'clock so, I'm going to wait and see what we got. I'm going to go get the thermal scanner now to see, see if there's some in there already. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> you can see I got the equipment out because uh, I, I'm sorry I skipped you guys out of this part of me taking down the swarm trap. But all I did was take it down, and I got sick of watching the bees going in with stuff. And so I knew, man, we probably just missed the swarm. So I went and I took down the swarm trap. <laughs> and let's actually have a peek in, it, in there together. But uh, obviously, you know, we caught our third swarm for 2020. This is the second swarm that we've caught in this in this one swarm trap right here this one trap not out of the four we made this year this one trap has caught two swarms already and that's three swarms for the month that we've caught already so uh <laughs> this is really cool i'm gonna drop them in a nuke uh we're gonna show you how big these are this one is uh it's a little bigger it's probably the size of the smallest one I caught last year. And all I did was crack the lid to see if there was anything in it. And there was. So let's look at it together, see how big it is, drop it into the box. So one other thing, I got uh, my thumbnail showing. <laughs> it's a thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail like on the beginning of the video. <laughs> so... All I did was take off this, the closer that goes right here. I still have to take off the other side.
Are we ready? This is uh, gonna be super cool. You brought a brush? Okay, great. We got the brush. I'm just double checking, making sure I'm mentally prepared. <laughs> now I saw in that last video, someone said find the queen, but the thing is about my frames is they don't touch the bottom. There's still about half an inch that the bees have to go before it's touching the bottom. So I'm sure that's under control. We're, we're, we're not gonna smash the queen. But thanks anyway for the, uh, for the comment. I just took that off because I don't want them drawing off. So same as last time, this has pollen, but it's a drawn frame, has pollen on both sides. Okay, this one is an empty frame for the queen to start laying in both sides this is from the same cutout i did last year and this is a honey frame so they have honey and it's just partially drawn out because when a, when bees swarm they have stuff to make wax with them so they instantly start producing wax so this just helps them gives them the boost that they need uh and uh this is gonna be great Okay, so this is the first time I'm seeing the full cluster with you guys. Well, this is the first time I'm seeing it. And so I'm seeing it with you guys. Can you tell me when it's out? Close the door. It's out. Cool. Okay, here we go, guys. Do you see how easy it is? For me to do this my engineering skills put to the test wow that's a nice swarm it's small but it's okay we don't mind thanks guys for coming we love you that just gets them reassured so they don't sting me <laughs> that is amazing Guys, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys get a great look at this. Since uh, they didn't land on the front, I'm not able to take any pictures of it. Well, I will. I'll take a thumbnail. I'll take a few pictures for, from here. But Okay, let's put it into the box now. And check out how this pulley system's working. That's pretty cool, huh? That way it doesn't take a lot to hold up the swarm of bees. Okay. Time to go, boys. They're girls. You got this. Come on.
That one was a little bigger than last time. I love my nuke boxes, man. These are the best. That's, uh, this worm has only been in there for today. I know that for a fact. And look at all the new comb that they already put on here. That's amazing. So, uh, like, apart from last time, you can see all the bees in the air up there where the swarm used to be. So what we'll do is we'll set the, we'll keep the nuke right here and wait for all the bees to land on it. They'll start fanning instantly because it's a little bigger than last time. But, uh, as long as we got the queen, it should be okay. I think after a while I might start selling my swarm traps because these things are the best. Within minutes they should start fanning. They should have started by now. But they gotta find the queen first. The only thing I might do is get a uh, use that pulley system to pull my nuke box up there to so that those bees don't like land up there like they are now. That's why I prefer to do this at night. Because then they fly around the light and so it's easy. Yeah, see there's a lot grouping up right there on that limb. If I screwed this lid to there and then just attach that lid to there, I could pull this thing up. Oh. That should be great, right? Yeah. Okay, so wow, <laughs> that worked out perfect. Last minute thing I did there to catch the rest of the bees that are going up and they're, and now they're going right in and it turned out beautiful. I love it. We caught our third swarm of the year and I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm ready to get these things in a box. Uh, next thing we do is check for a queen and I hope these things have the energy to survive so okay guys if you didn't catch that 
We put, we left the swarm on the ground, used the same pulley system that was on the top to put the nuke in the tree for the bees that were up there looking for the swarm to go in. And as you can see, they are going in. So that's what we did if you missed it. Uh, and the swarm is here. Let's open it, see what's in it. A little cluster of bees, 10 or so, two, four, six, eight. 10, oh, 12 actually. That's all that's here. They will fly up because they know that that they went up in the tree and they will find the, uh, they'll find the rest of them. I knew these swarm traps were gonna work. You guys just proved it to me that they did or I proved it to you that they did. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. I know it's a little dark, but there she is fanning a few minutes later. And the rest know to come because she's fanning and they go right in. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? One bee after the other. When they, sm when they see her fanning, they know that that's the entrance. Bam, there's this other one going right in. That's pretty cool. This is the third swarm we caught. Not only is catching that cool, but listening to the birds in the background, that's cool too. Okay, so just in case you missed it, well, I know you did miss it. Uh, it was like nine o'clock when I moved this thing at night, just because I wanted to move it while all the bees were in the nuke that we put them in. So all I did was Took this off the top of the nuke, took it down from there, put it on a table next to one of my other hives, and left the swarm trap down. Uh, I actually did put a queen excluder on the front of that nuke just so that they couldn't leave, and we're actually going to go look at that right now. So, what I did since it would be kind of hard to put a queen excluder on this thing I just took it and uh, put a screw in it right in front of the hole that's all we did I'm gonna open it right now to see see what's going on on the inside see how many frames it filled up let's see wow that's pretty nice it's not bad They've got all three frames full. Let me move out of the light. Can you see? They've got all three frames full down to the bottom. That's pretty cool. And it's just the, the back. Okay, that's cool, guys. Wow. We'll open this in a week. We'll let them go for a week. Then open it to see if the queen's laying. Since I do have two nukes full, I will be building more. And if we keep catching swarms, I'm actually thinking about giving a few away, but uh, I'll look into that. I'll think about that later. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing here, and I hope you did too. I'm putting the lid back on this thing and hanging it back up and waiting for the next swarm. Let's do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you're going to follow uh, this swarm, make sure you subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think. And till next time, I'll see you in the next video. We're going to update you on this swarm the a week, one week after we caught it. So, so make sure you subscribe for that update. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.